Okay, this is my new favorite pizza sauce or even a pasta sauce. You can use it on your wood-fired pizza if you want. It's three easy steps. One, two, three. Here's how you do it. Get four tomatoes, two basil leaves, and one clove of garlic peeled. Then you're going to cut the tomatoes in half. Squeeze out all the juice. Romas are best, but you can use whatever kind you want. Then you're going to put those in your blender, either your Vitamix or your Blendtec. And you're going to add your basil leaves and your garlic and a little salt and a little bit of olive oil. Then you're going to start on low. Then it get ground up. Then switch to medium for about seven seconds. This pulverizes everything, including the skins, so you don't have to peel your tomatoes. 22 seconds, and you're done. Looks like this. And this is really good just this way, fresh, but if you want to kind of make it a little bit thicker, put it in a pan over medium heat, and we're going to cook it until the desired thickness is achieved, about four or five minutes. What you'll notice is when you cook it, that it starts to get a darker red. See the color change? Add a little fresh ground pepper. At first, it's going to get a little bit more watery, and then after a while, it'll start thickening up. So cook it on low. Keep stirring it so it doesn't burn. And eventually you get this nice, thick, amazing sauce that's super fresh and has no preservatives. You can use this on pizza, or you can add a little bit of cream and use it on pasta, whatever you'd like. It is really, really tasty. You have to take my word for it. Cook well. It's worth it.